Social drivers of health care are non-medical factors that can impact an individual's health outcomes. Joining us now to discuss from United Healthcare is the Chief Medical Officer for Community and State and the Senior Vice President of Population Health and Social Care, Dr. Alex Biu. Let's jump right in here. What are social drivers of health and why are they such an important part of our overall health? Sure, well, social drivers are really just a technical term for the things we rely on every day. Uh, things like adequate housing, uh, nutritious food, transportation, uh, as well as uh, education and employment. Um, so those things uh, have a big impact on your health, uh, which is perhaps not that surprising. But what does surprise some people is uh, that that actually has a much bigger impact on your health than even uh, access to doctors in the healthcare system. How do these factors impact different demographics in different ways? Um, well, certainly we see that um, folks have uh, uh, folks need help with these areas, uh, certainly if they're in the lower income uh, brackets. Uh, but frankly, that cuts across all uh, of the demographic groups. However, we wanted to highlight um, that we see a lot of need amongst older adults. Uh, and part of that may be because of uh, reluctance to share that they're facing some of these challenges with getting enough to eat um, or the quality of their housing. Um, so we actively reach out and uh, actually last year screened over 4.7 million of our Medicare Advantage members to find out if they had any of these needs and wanted help and found one in four did. What are the most effective ways to help older adults access the food, housing and additional resources they need? So, so for us, it starts with their benefits. Really, uh, we've got uh, supports for, for food, uh, for transportation, as well as housing navigation. Um, but importantly, what we try to do is connect our members back to resources in their community, whether that's a local food bank or a church, uh, or perhaps a local government program for weatherization, especially as things are turning colder. Um, that not only helps meet the need for the member, but frankly also helps address social isolation, which is also a very common amongst our older adults. Where can we go for more information? Well, I'd recommend folks go to unitedhealthgroup.com slash research. There you can find out more of what we learned through uh, our own members' eyes, as well as uh, profiles across different states. Dr. Alex, thanks so much for sharing this with us today. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me.